Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to another instalment of Thomas and Friends in Real Life. So, it has been ages since I last made one of these videos. In fact, the last Thomas and Friends in Real Life video I made was well over two years ago, so it's high time that I made another one. Now, since the last one I did over two years ago, I've managed to collect quite a few more locos, uh, real life locos, which do have characters in Thomas and Friends. So I thought today I would show you some of those and I'm also going to throw in a few old friends as well just for old time's sake. So I really hope you enjoy this. Let's get started without any further ado on the first one and we will see who they are or who she is I should say. Okay, so here comes the first engine now, and yes, as you can see, it's Rosie. Now, this is a Backman Rosie, and actually, you might know that Rosie is now red in Thomas and Friends, but unfortunately, Backman made these just before Rosie turned red, so the Backman Rosie is pink. However, they are bringing out um, a red Rosie this year. However, none of that is important, because now, finally, I do have the real-life version of Rosie, and here it comes now. It is this. It's the USA Dock Tank. Now, these are a little bit like Rosie in Thomas and Friends, because they were made in America, and they shipped to England where they worked and Rosie's a bit like that obviously she was I think made in America but obviously she wasn't shipped to England she was shipped to Sodor so that's pretty cool anyway they've got little tiny goods trains each as you can see and I think what we ought to let them do now is have a quick run around the layout and get to know each other a little bit so let's do that now okay let's go then here we go can they go together that's the question go on Rosie <laughs> so there we go they seem to be working really nicely together anyway. I think they're going to be good friends. All right, cool. So I'll pop these two into a siding then and then we will move on and I'll show you who's coming next. Well, it looks like there's a bit of a race going on here. Yeah, you go for it, Doc Tank. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one then. All right, so here's a pretty cool one for you. Here he comes now. It is, of course, Oliver, as you can see. Now, I think I might have briefly talked about what Oliver was based on in a previous video, but I didn't actually have Oliver for that, so I couldn't do it properly. So here we go. Here is the actual Oliver and the actual basis of Oliver. Together, at last, we have the 14XX. Both engines from the Great Western, of course, and both engines are green, although, of course, Oliver is a much lighter green. So that's very cool, but it doesn't end there. There's an extra surprise, because at the back of the train, you can see we have two Toad brake vans. We have the real Toad on Oliver's train, as you can see, and then the actual Great Western Toad behind the 14XX's train. So at last, you can see the two brake vans and how similar they are, and you can really tell, can't you, that they're based on the same thing. So that's pretty awesome. Let's get these two started then. I think these do know each other. They've been in videos together before, but, uh, oh, well, I'm sure they'll enjoy a quick run together. See if I can get them together again, shall I? There we are. Nice. So I'm not sure that these two are quite so keen on each other because Oliver seems to have gotten a bit left behind. I think he's actually not really strong enough and the 1400 class isn't interested in waiting. <laughs> Oliver, I'm sorry he's done that to you. Do you want me to help you a little bit? There we go. Oh. That's odd, isn't it? Not very strong, bless him. So these are quite interesting because in real life the 1400 class or the 14XX were used for hauling passenger coaches and things, and yet Oliver seems to pull a lot of goods and things in Thomas and Friends, doesn't he? But uh, either way, he's proud to be Great Western, and that's definitely something that they both share, I think. Right, shall I try and get them back together again then, so that we can see the toads going along? Go on, Oliver, you can do it. Right, let's see if we can get this. Steady on, Oliver. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Oliver's gone a bit too quick now, hasn't he? Well, old uh, 14XX has run away again, and poor Oliver's been left to struggle. I am sorry about this, Oliver. He's not. He's perhaps not made to be the best of friends then. But uh, you've got plenty of other friends in the collection, haven't you, Oliver? Okay, well, I'm going to bring these to a stop then, and I will show you a few more characters, shall I? 
So here's a picture of a really cool silver looking engine and I think he's called Merlin in the show, isn't he? Now in real life, Merlin was supposed to be based on a British engine known as the King Arthur class or the N15. Although as you can see by this one coming in here, they were never silver, or in fact this one isn't silver. They were usually green like this one or sometimes black, but as far as I know, never silver. But uh, yes, hopefully looking at that, you can see that that is Merlin. And then there is also in Thomas and Friends, a diesel rail car known as Daisy, as you can see. Uh, she's a bit stuffy, isn't she? She's a little bit full of herself, but uh, all right, I think in her own way. Now, as you can tell, Daisy is just a one car unit. There's only one of her. There aren't three coaches or anything like that. But in real life, the class 101, which is what she was based on often had two or even three coaches as part of the set and as you can see mine here is in blue not like Daisy that was in green and it does actually have three coaches which is pretty cool but yeah that is a 101 which supposedly is the same class as Daisy and then finally here is a picture of an American visitor to Sodor who comes once in a while he is called Connor I believe and in real life he is based on a New York Hudson so I've got a Hudson let me bring it in here there it is now this particular Hudson isn't a New York Hudson this is a Milwaukee Railroad Hudson Hudson I think it is although as you can see it does look very similar to Connor although slightly different obviously slightly different color so let's get these three started then and we'll have a quick run with these three now obviously Backman or Hornby never did make characters for these although maybe they will one day who knows so we'll start with the King Arthur then there we go oh very nice and she's got a well, he today, Merlin, has got a Pullman train as you can see lovely Pullman coaches then we have the 101 Daisy of course with unusually more coaches than she normally does, which is pretty cool. And then finally, Connor the Hudson. And uh, he's actually got some l &ER coaches since he's visiting. I thought he could try some of our British rolling stock for a change. Okay, let's have a quick look, see how these get on together then. There goes Connor. And in the background, once again, we have Merlin going dangerously fast again. <laughs> Oops, and I think he's derailed on a curb. That's strange. Ah. Okay, thanks for that Merlin. We'll uh, come and sort that one out. Yes, it's quite a strange old engine this one. He doesn't seem to like second radius curves. So I've slowed him down a little bit and hopefully he'll manage it this time. But that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? I don't know if Merlin would ever be guilty of derailing like that, but uh, yeah, my Merlin definitely is. And there we go, there's Connor the Hudson. Let's get one more look at Daisy then and we'll pop these into the sidings. So there you have it, and yeah, I would never have guessed that that was Daisy, actually. In fact, I'll show you what I thought Daisy would have probably looked like. Yeah, I would have said this was Daisy. I think this is a 121 bubble car. Uh, this looks more like her to me, obviously, because it's in green. But uh, nope, she was a 121, so the one I was running is correct. But yeah, that to me looks a bit more like a Daisy, because it is just a one-car unit. All right, well, I'll put those three into the sidings then, and we will uh, take a look at them all together so far, shall we? So there we go then, the sidings are filling up quite nicely now, as you can see. With Daisy, I've only put one car on, so that looks a little bit more like her old self now, doesn't it? But there we go. Yeah, I've never seen such an unusual bunch of engines together before. <laughs> and also, of course, brake bands. We shouldn't forget those. So there we go. There's the first lot. There's still a few more to show you, though, so I will get those out now, and we'll carry on. So here is a picture of quite a new engine from Thomas and Friends. Her name is Rebecca, and as you can tell, she is bright yellow. Now, the real thing, as you can see, it's just coming in here, was not bright yellow. They were mainly green, sometimes blue, and occasionally black, but certainly never yellow as far as I know. These were designed by Oliver Bullitt for the Southern Railway, and these are known as the West Country slash Battle of Britain class, and this particular one is Camelford. So that's very, very lovely. Next up, we have quite an unusual shunting loco. Yes, this is Den, and he is is based on this here it comes now this is a really cool engine this is the sentinel now the strange thing about this one is that i would have said that the front of the engine is actually the back as i've got it here now as shunting engines i think they would have gone in either direction but if i was right that would mean that den has actually got a face on his bottom which is quite an interesting mutation i think isn't it so yeah good on you den uh, but yes in real life these were sentinels as you can see and mine is a slightly different color to den but you can tell that it's definitely him now on the inside line quite a an odd choice this is Toby here he is yes and uh, unfortunately I don't have a real life basis for Toby however there is now a model available it's made by Rapido and it's sold by Model Rail it's a J70 from the LNER and they now are available to buy so I don't have one but I thought it would be interesting just to mention that so let's get these three started then again these engines ordinarily would have nothing to do with each other in real life but uh, here they are together so I really like that uh, okay come on then Rebecca let's get started 
There we go. And you'll see that she's got some really lovely southern coaches. And that's more or less what they'd be hauling in real life. Although they did also haul goods from time to time. There's a bit of a funny story about that, but uh, we'll save that for another day. Then we have Den, who has some tankers, including a Tidmouth milk van. Or wagon. Tanker. There we go. Got there in the end. And finally, Toby, who is with, without Henrietta, unfortunately. We'll have to see if we can get you on, Toby. So there's Rebecca, and I must say I absolutely love the Bullied Pacifics. Uh, probably my favourite loco ever. And uh, let me know in the comments what your favourite loco is. Poor old Toby, I feel a bit sorry for him now. Should have perhaps given him something to pull, shouldn't I? Oh well, at least he's not having to work too hard. I think that's a treat, isn't it? And good old Den, of course. Whether he's going forward or backwards, I'm not 100% sure. You'll have to decide on that one. <laughs> Ooh, steady on, Rebecca. She's uh, definitely giving it some speed today. Good old Toby, J70. Okay, well, let's bring these to a stop then, and uh, I will show you the final loco I'm going to show you today. Okay, so last but not least, here we have another diesel for you, a little diesel shunter this time. Here she comes. It is Mavis, of course, from the Farquhar Quarry. Now, she was based on a shunter in real life, a class 04 shunter, in fact, it was. And here comes the real thing now. As you can see, mine is blue, although I'm sure they might have had some black ones in real life, I'm not too sure. But yeah, as you can see, there are some very big similarities between the two. You've got the wasp stripes on Mavis's face or around her face and the real thing's got it. But as you can see, Mavis has a lot more sort of bodywork on the underside. It's got sort of valances. The real O4s didn't have that. And as far as I know, I don't think any of them did. I could be wrong there, but uh, I've never seen any with them. So that's very strange, isn't it? But either way, you can just about tell that they are based on the same thing. So let's get them started then. They've both got a little good straighten, as you can see. And uh, let's find out how they get on. I reckon actually this might be the first time these two engines of mine have ever met. <laughs> I don't think I've ever run them together before. So yes, let's see if they're compatible, shall we, hopefully. Well, I must say they seem to run at more or less exactly the same speed. So that's pretty cool. You'll notice that Mavis has got a much more colourful train though. So I think that's definitely another new friendship there. They've stayed together virtually this entire time. I did actually adjust the speed a minute ago, but yeah, they've done more than a lap without splitting up. So I think that uh, little 04 must be quite fond of Mavis. That's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> no, I regret saying that now. I think I must have embarrassed them because the, uh, the 04 has dropped way behind now. I perhaps ought to have kept quiet about the romance side of things, shouldn't I? Uh, I put them together anyway, I can't do much more than that, it's not really up to me whether or not they stay together, but uh, never mind, never mind. Anyway, I'll bring these to a stop, and I did promise at the start that I would bring some familiar faces back, so I'll do that as well, and then I'll show you them all together. Alright, let's try it. Okay, so there we go then, those are all the engines I saw today. Uh, right, what do you reckon, shall I try and do a recap of these, see if I can remember them all? Ooh, I'll probably get some wrong, okay. Right, let's start in the top corner then. So we have Rosie and the USA Dock Tank. Yeah, nice and easy start. Then Oliver and the 14XX. So yes, I, I don't think I'll forget those. Uh, Toads, of course, that's another easy one. Yes, uh, Toad Brake Van and of course the Toad from Thomas and Friends. Then Merlin, I think that one was. We have Daisy, the 101. Yes, of course. Uh, now, what's this one? Is it Den or Dart? I think I'm going to go for Den. I'm not 100% sure about that one. Then, of course, Toby, number seven. Yes, won't forget him. Uh, now, what was that was Connor, wasn't it? Yes, Connor the Hudson. Then we have Mavis, obviously, and the 04 Shunter. And finally, Rebecca. Okay, so let me know how I did in the comments. That's my torment over anyway. Okay, your turn.
here's a few from videos past then, here's a few characters, uh, see if you can name any of these, uh, some of them are quite easy obviously. Uh, I will be quite impressed though if anyone gets this one down in front, this yellow one, yeah that's, uh, I suppose that's the trickiest of them all. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you can name any of those. But for the time being, that is it, that is even more Thomas and Friends in real life, I hope you enjoyed that. If there's any that I missed, do let me know, if, if there's any you know I've got that I didn't show. Uh, and I might do another one of these if anybody makes some good suggestions. But for the time being, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you all very, very soon. All right. Cheers, everybody.